round of applause for musicians from Fiji. Clap, clap, baby, clap. you by saying Mbula Vinaka. Everyone say Mbula Vinaka. Vinaka. Wonderful. Mbula simply means hello and Vinaka conveys a message of good day or good health be with you now and always. Let's do it once more. Mbula Vinaka. Mbula Vinaka. Wonderful. Fiji is located about 3200 miles south southwest of the Hawaiian group of islands. It is a 67 hours plane ride from Honolulu to Fiji. If you're coming from the mainland it's about 11 hours from LA or from San Francisco. From here only six to seven hours away in fact seven by delta and, and six by united <laughs> right there goes my body pass right um six seven hours away then 200 miles southwest of us you'll find yourself in fiji there are over 300 islands together that makes up the fiji group of islands the largest set of islands in polynesia population of fiji today almost a million people now we were seated to great britain in 1874 almost a year later uh 100 years later uh, we get our independence, 1970. In fact, coming up next, in a week from now, 10th of October, is uh, Fiji's Independence Day. So, 1970, October 10th, we get our independence. And because of the influence of the British and Fiji, English is our official language. Also, we still speak Fijian, of course, with many dialects are spoken through the islands of Fiji as well. By show of hands, has any of you been to Fiji? Right over here, they've been to Fiji. And the rest of you, none of you been to Fiji? What's wrong with you? Would you like to go? Yeah. All right, we take a reservation and you pay us and then we'll let you know, right? By the way, our presentation today is about a migration of our people in Fiji. We call it as Taovanua. Taovanua, translation, migration. A story about a group of people that travel through the vast Pacific Ocean, their huge canoes, using the celestial navigation of the moon, the stars, and the sun as they move east and looking for their new home. This is a story about the Lapita people the ancestors of the first Polynesians. Now our story begins about 4,000 years ago. In the south, the East Pacific Islands were completely uninhabited. The region we now refer to today as the Polynesians group of islands. If there are evidence of any human existence, it was in the fringes of the Western Pacific Islands, in places like Papua New Guinea, the Solomons, Tasmania, the region we refer to today as Melanesia. Scientific evidence have proven that these Melanesian these settlers, they've been around for over 20,000 years, a very, very long time. They were hunter and gatherer people. They live in small villages and small family units isolated from the rest of the population. No. islands after islands as they moved east towards the rising sun. They were fierce warriors and great seafarers. 
built and sailed on huge double hull canoes that could carry hundreds of people. And when they arrived, they brought with them a new culture, a new language that evolved out of Southeast Asia and spoken today in the Eastern Pacific Islands. They were polytheistic society people. They practiced animatism and built sacred temples of worship like this one. The high priest prayed to the gods on behalf of the chief. Notice that our temple is highly elevated. The belief was that the taller the structure, the closer the communications with our ancestral gods. The gods have finally granted blessings to the chief and his people. These newcomers introduced a new social hierarchy system where the chiefly tiles were inherited by bloodline. The chiefs were believed to be descendants of ancestral gods. Instead of before, he was a chief from the islands of Fiji, he's dressed in a chiefly attire. His skirt is made from the voi voi or the dried pandanus leaves. He wears vests around his arms and ankles from the mangi mangi and the fiber of the coconut husk. Clothed on his arms and his back from masi or tapa, we call it in Fiji. Mother pole shell around his neck and the markings on his face signifies his royal status. Of course, he holds a war club in his hands, the symbol of his power and his authority. He would now invite his people to a dance called Tura, depicting the safe arrival to this newfound land. As these newcomers continued to settle the coastal areas of Fiji, they continued to practice traditions that were along with them. Once that's practiced the making of the tapa cloth called Masi in Fijian. Masi is made from the back of the paper mulberry plant. The other one is the weaving of mats and baskets from the dried pandanus leaves, we call voi voi. These practices, among others, are still being practiced today throughout Polynesia. But there's one unique tradition that's no longer done in other parts of Polynesia except in the islands of Fiji. That is the making of the top of the pottery. We call it the Lapita pottery. This Lapita pottery is low-fired earthenware pottery tampered with shell and sand. Notice as motifs that are unique in our Polynesian arts. And these motifs often can be found in our tattoos and also in our tapa designs. Our dance will now dance to Tulukuro as we celebrate the making of this pottery the history behind it and how it's being treasured today in the islands of Fiji.
Now, fragments of these Lapita parties have been found throughout Polynesia, in places like Nukulaka in Tonga, Ulufanua and Ufbolu Samoa, and also in Tahiti or French Polynesia. Hundreds of years later, as these Lapita people are now integrated into the Fijian society, the decorative tooth of a sperm oil was introduced as the most highly valued cultural item in Fiji. We call this as a tambua. Can everyone say tambua? tambua. The tambua, or the decorative tooth of sperm oil, was used as a gift of esteem and atonement and used in negotiation between rival chiefs and rival tribes. We use tambua in many of our ceremonies. One such ceremony is called a dungudi ceremony, where a male was presenting a tambua to a father asking for his daughter's hand in marriage. And these are normally done to solidify and forge alliances between tribes. What you're about to witness now is a condensed version of a Ndungudi ceremony. A tambour will be presented to a host chief asking for his daughter's hand in marriage. The ceremony would begin with the beating of the drum we call Lali, as we call the people together and await the arrival of our visitors. Once the visitors arrive at the chief of the compound, they will call out. Oh. Oh. The highest form of respect the chiefs accord to each other, acknowledging rank and titles. Ceremonies such as these follow strict protocols, and only honorific language of chiefs and nobles are used. The ceremony begins with the spokesperson of the rival tribe presenting the tambua, establishing a special lineage that connects the two tribes, and then now stating the purpose of their visit, which is the marriage proposal. Before he formally accepts the tambua, Ahoshi will now summon his daughter to let her know of the marriage proposal. And the Kalo Kalo, my precious daughter. I'm holding a tambour in my hand, a presentation from the rival tribe. They're here asking for your hand in marriage to their prince. The princess, understanding the significance of this arrangement, has agreed to the marriage proposal. She has no choice. The seminar concludes, and this will follow months of preparation, many ritual and feastings before their wedding day. Our princess is dressed in a chiefly attire with a tapa cloth wrapped around her, the trail in her arms, signifies her royal status once more. The longer the trail, the higher is her rank, together with a white curry shell and a marcus on her face, as I mentioned earlier, signifies her royal status. Stand so next to her is the handsome prince from the rival tribe. He chooses of a chiefly status. You can tell that by the mother pole shell that he wears around his neck. We wish them well. How about a big hand to the new couple? Now, Fijian old traditions to history talks a lot about warfare and conflicts and lots of fights in those early days. Missionaries describe such scenes as being ferociously vicious and inhumane. Many weapons were used. One such weapon is about to say say or the spear. The other one is called Nayula or the short throwing club. The short throwing club required deadly when your opponent is trying to escape. But the most commonly used weapon is the manda or the wow. This is used for close combat fighting.
1835, Christian missionaries arrived in Fiji and there it started the conversion of our chiefs and people to the new faith. Temple like this one were replaced by chapels and churches. The new ways and values and traditions being introduced by the missionaries were now integrated and adopted into the whole things are done in Fiji. If you remember the attire that's worn earlier, the grass skirts and the type of cloths, those were now reserved for ceremonial functions. Instead, this now became the formal attire. If you remember a while back with the presentation of the tambua, the well stood for the Dungudi ceremony of the marriage proposal, that is now done only as a formality. What presents is now is a western styled marriage proposal, many months of dating, a handsome prince on his knees. Question, a ring from Walmart. <laughs> This time, no extents from the princess, said yes from the bottom of her heart. Another big hand to the new couple. And with the introduction of all these musical instruments, we now dance to contemporary songs like this one. Family and friends, it is uh, customary for us in Fiji to sing our farewell song called Isle. What our musicians are singing to you right now. Isle is a very spe special song for us. It means so much in Fiji. But for us here today, it means thank you. Thank you for visiting us here in the Fijian village of the Polynesian Cultural Center. If you probably know by now, these performers. All of them are full-time students at the nearby university next to the BYU Hawaii campus. They left Fiji to come here and study. Once they're done with the study, they will return home to Fiji and help with the development of our beloved nation. And their study here in Hawaii is made possible because of your visiting us here this afternoon. How about give yourself a big round of applause, Please keep the applause going for our performers, full-time students from the islands of Fiji. And I'll be Jesus as well. Family and friends, as the sun rises from the east and sets in the west, we are constantly reminded of our ancestors who braved through the vast open seas and settled in our beautiful home of Fiji 2,500 years ago. Family, this is our story. And we hope that you've enjoyed it just as much as we've enjoyed presenting it to you all. Vinaka Vakalevu and Miss Amoni. Notice they sit down and clap their hands, acknowledge it's an honor and a privilege for them to perform before you this afternoon. Our performers from Fiji. How about a round of applause for musicians? Diana Ross and the Commodores. Thank you once more for visiting us in the Fijian village. Have a wonderful remainder of the day. And Bula Vinaka. You may leave now. <laughs> All right, family, coming up in the islands of Fiji, if you'd like to take pictures of our performers, they're right there at the village green. They're waiting if you want to take pictures with any of them. Nobody. Back a brain picker. <laughs> oh, he did. 
tell me more about it. I don't oh, know yeah, much that's, about that's it. That's cannibalism. That's how they do it. Yeah, you, yeah. When you kill people, that's how you poke the... That's, how, that's your fork. That's you can eat. <laughs> yeah, you have all the, one of those? I do, yeah. The yeah, bigger one, right? Yeah, it's bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, what, is, what is this right here? Like uh, this one, that's a cove. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. Never been to Fiji? I haven't. No, I would love to go. Yeah, I should take yeah. it to Fiji someday. Yeah. yeah. I would like that. Yeah. So this right. is the comb. This is the comb, and what is this? Yeah, that's the brain picker. That's how you poke the pan, eat the brain. Ah, oh, for braiding. Yes. Oh, okay. Thank you. You are welcome. Thank you.